John Fury is a 1979 graduate of Cardinal O'Hara. After graduating, he moved on to the University of Notre Dame and then to the medical college at Thomas Jefferson University. I've never met a more determined person in my life. When he says he's gonna do something, let me tell you, he does it and the people around him feel bad not just jumping on board because he's going 100 miles an hour and he makes the people around him just kind of try to keep up with him. Everyone, uh, at least in my generation, knew of the Fury family, whether it's swimming or football. And then to meet John Fury as one of the, the, the most successful, smartest, most caring people that would literally do anything for anybody. I personally can't see a better, a better inductee for the O'Hara Hall of Fame. His constant support of St. Mary Magdalene's, O'Hara High School, and um, St. Catherine Drexel in Chester, it ju he just goes above and beyond. After church at St. Mary Magdalene's, I saw a guy working a table. I was assuming that he was going to try to sell some cookies or something to, for some cause, and there he was working the table to, to start a football program at St. Mary Magdalene's. So, architect, physician, and there he was at the, at the back of church, working a table trying to get kids to sign up to play football. You can never say no to John, because John's never said no to anybody in his whole life, to be honest with you. You ask him to do something, you know, ask for his help in anything, he is always there. Always there to support you, always there to help you. Having John Fury being inducted into the O'Hara Hall of Fame, I'm so proud of. Not only from the, uh, the athletic perspective, but more importantly, the impact of the community, which I think the O'Hara Hall of Fame should be and is. And uh, he has touched so many lives, just the football program he's been able to start, but also the outreach that he has in his community. Um, he is one of the partners of Providence Ear, Nose and Throat, right next to Drexel Newman Academy and, and associated with Chester. So he has touched the lives of so many countless people that hopefully then will touch the lives of even more people. For all of his accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Dr. John Fury into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Mary Beth Sprose is a 1992 graduate. After leaving O'Hara, she moved on to Scranton University and then to Drexel University where she received her master's degree. Mary Beth began her entertainment career working on the show Seventh Heaven and then moved on to work with legendary producers J.J. Abrams and Matt Reeves on shows such as Felicity, Alias, and Lost. She had this desire to go to L.A. and, and, and do movies or TV or do production, like production was her thing. And she went for it. And I think that was the thing that we're all like, I can't believe she's going to go across the country and, and, and live her dream. And I'm in awe of her because she, not many people, have the guts to go after what it is that they want. And that's exactly what she did. After working for Ron Howard and Brian Grazer's Imagine Television, she then moved on to Paulus Productions in 2011. She currently serves as the Vice President for Development and Production. Mary Beth focuses on developing projects for Paulist at the intersection of faith and culture. I think of Mary Beth, I just think of just a good person. Like, just someone you want to be around because she just has a positiveness about her, you know, that, that you're innately drawn to. When you look at Mary Beth, what she's done with her life would make a person proud that she is a graduate of O'Hara. Her Christian values she carries out in her adult life. She would do anything for anybody. She treated people fairly. She's just a good human being. I think that's what you traditionally get right from growing up and going to school and being surrounded by people who teach you things like values and makes you who you are and she never lost that and, and that she was able to balance the love she has for her family and her friends and where she came from with the career that she can only get there. She hit the halls of O'Hara with the same determination and drive with which she's tackled every project in her life since. No one deserves this honor more than Mary Beth. I'm proud of you. Congratulations Mary Beth. For all of her accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Mary Beth Sprose into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame.
Dr. William J. McCusker is a graduate of Monsignor Bonner High School. After graduating from Bonner, he attended Syracuse University and then received graduate degrees from Temple University and St. Joseph's University. Dr. McCusker received his doctorate in education at Immaculata University. I think Bill McCusker embodies Catholic education. First of all, he started out as a student at Monsignor Bonner High School, became a teacher at West Catholic, then he was the principal at Archbishop Kennedy, and then finally came to O'Hara with Mons or Monsignor at the time, Joe McFadden. And at the time they came, they increased enrollment from 1,500 to 2,000 students. If you increase enrollment today at any Catholic high school, 33%, they'd have a statue of them out front. Um, and a lot of great traditions were started when he was principal. For example, the O'Hara family Christmas was started when he was principal. And then when he became president, that's when things like the uh, improvement of the school took place, where we had the, the auditorium got redone and the stadium got built and things like that happened. He always made Cardinal O'Hara feel like family. And that was really important. And that was for everybody, not just for the students, but for the teachers and the faculty and the staff. You, you always felt like you were part of the family. In addition to his many accomplishments as president, Dr. McCusker initiated the first capital campaign in our school's history. But he also understood that if kids don't have a good experience in the four years at O'Hara, they're not gonna come back. And, and he embodied that by going to basketball games, both boys and girls, the football games, marched in the St. Patrick's Day Parade with the band, and also was very involved with the shows, and he knew all the kids' names, and I think that's very important. If something came up, you could go and you could talk to him, and we would all handle it together and support each other, and that was the great thing about working here. I think Bill McCusker is an extraordinary man who did extraordinary things, but somehow remained ordinary, and that's why I love him so much, and I'm honored to be his friend. When he made decisions, it was always Cardinal O'Hara first. I think that's why he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. He gave 46 years of his life to Catholic education, and the bulk of it was here was at O'Hara, not only being a principal, but also a president. And I think he understands all the aspects from the academic side, as well as the development side, and it's developed the development of, of young people. And, and I think that that, to me, alone qualifies him to be in the Hall of Fame, and I can't think of a better candidate. For all of his accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Dr. William J. McCusker into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Teresa Welsh is a 1975 graduate. After graduating from O'Hara, Teresa went to Villanova University and then to the Medical College at Jefferson University. Teresa is now a board certified pediatrician. In 2013, Teresa became an altruistic kidney donor and now volunteers for the National Kidney Foundation. Teresa and her husband Michael live in Haddonfield, New Jersey, have five children of their own and three grandchildren. She makes it her profession to help people and cure people, but even when she was back in O'Hara, uh, you know, she was always looking, looking to help people and, uh, you know, lives the true Catholic ideal. I think O'Hara was instrumental in, in enabling her to, to reach her potential professionally. Three years ago, she was an altruistic kidney donor. She wasn't asked to give a kidney. She had attended a conference and learned about how the whole system works and learned about the chain of kidney donations. If you give a kidney, then somebody else who might have committed to give a kidney to another person who was a relative but it wasn't a good match, that person gives a kidney and it goes to somebody else and to somebody else. One donation can trigger you know, an entire chain of donations. There's a lot of people better off as a direct result. There's always people willing to give a kidney when they have someone near and dear to them who directly needs it. This is what embodies Teresa as, as somebody always looking to do something for someone else. Learns about the fact that if she donates one kidney, it can trigger a chain of domino donations uh, that can be six to 12 other people that all directly benefit. We're thrilled. Our entire family went to Cardinal O'Hara, uh, six, all six of us. Uh, so, you know, Cardinal O'Hara is a deep part of uh, the tradition of our family. Uh, you know, we were all, we all got a great education here. Uh, to do something for others whom you don't even know, 
who, who are going to benefit in a great way. It's a, it's a gift of life. It's a gift of life not just to one person, but to many people. Teresa's a saint, lives her life for other people. For all of her accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Dr. Teresa Welsh into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Dan Keating graduated in 1967 and then went on to Villanova University. Having grown up in the construction industry, Dan envisioned and formed companies that became involved in every aspect of construction and real estate. You, you can't survive in business if you uh, don't have a good value system, I don't think long term. And that's what Dan sort of epitomizes between his education here at O'Hara uh, and uh, Villanova. You know, he's a values driven person. Dan has had a successful career in the construction industry, and at the same time, he never forgot where he came from. He never forgot O'Hara. He's done some very significant things in the Philadelphia region, and he, he also has been the person that came to the school and asked the school to start a particular class in entrepreneurship and, and ethics. So Dan's giving back to Cardinal O'Hara in a pretty unique way, sharing his life experiences. I think Dan wants to make sure that the students here get exposed to things like that and so he's bringing in speakers and have the uh, students become more aware of beyond the traditional career paths that they can pursue. The number of businesses he's created, the number of businesses he's run, he's got his hands in so many things, his, his energy levels are off the charts, the classic entrepreneur, but incredibly low key, I mean, totally under the radar. Some of the projects that his firms have worked on include Lincoln Financial Field, the Hilton Philadelphia at Penn's Landing, and the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Just amazing testament to somebody, you know, believing in his faith and his, his morals and his principles to do what's right long term. He's also a cancer survivor. Dan at one time was chairman of the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. Does a lot to help down at Penn to uh, help them raise money. Dan and Sarah opened their house a number of times to allow uh, benefits to raise money for that. A lot of what he is now as a, as a man was developed here at O'Hara. The education that he got here, he credits O'Hara with the success that he had. For all of his accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Daniel J. Keating into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Kristen Clement Blue is a 1997 graduate who led the Lady Lions basketball team to three Catholic League titles and was MVP all four years. After graduating Cardinal O'Hara, she moved on to the University of Tennessee, where she played under legendary coach Pat Summit. In 1994, she put girls basketball on the map around here. Dreen Smith called her an All-American. USA Today called her the best player in Pennsylvania. But as Big Al Meltzer reports, to her friends and teammates, Kristen Clement is simply called Ace. Kristen Clement of Cardinal O'Hara High School may very well be the best women's high school player in the country. On Thursday, she poured in 48 points. I mean, she, not only was she talented, she was poised, she could speak. She had every attribute a basketball player could have. She could shoot threes, drive to the basket. But the best thing she did was pass the ball. She is the most dynamic player we've ever had. She was a scorer, she was a leader, she was a passer. She was always genuine in her actions on and off the court. She was active in the community. Just a great role model and a great basketball player. I mean, there's been a lot of good players since then, but never anyone with all that magnitude and, and, and personality and people just love to see her play and love to see be around her. You know, she was just a tremendous leader. She made everyone around her better by her passing, but mostly by her, that I remember, by her demeanor and her personality. 
she was not only the ultimate competitor, but she had the skills to shoot from anywhere on the court. She had the skills to go to the basket. And she might, may have been the most incredible passer that I've seen in girls high school basketball. Such a pleasure to coach. Once in a lifetime type player. Never, never lost her cool. And teams really took shots at her. She was like a rock star. Little girls loved her. I mean, after games, she would sit for a half hour signing autographs. She was the first true, I think, female superstar in this area. She was the first true scoring point guard in that generation. And she goes to Tennessee and wins the national championship. During her time there, the team had an undefeated season, an NCAA title, and two Final Four appearances. After graduating from the University of Tennessee, Kristen was drafted in 2001 by the WNBA's Houston Comets. For all of her accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct Kristen Ace Clement Blue into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Dave White is a 1979 O'Hara graduate, one of 14 kids, all of which graduated from Cardinal O'Hara High School. He is also the father of four children. After graduating Cardinal O'Hara, Dave became a steam fitter and then opened up his own company, DWD Mechanical Contractors. In 1994, Dave was elected as a Ridley Township Commissioner. And presently, Dave serves on the Delaware County Council as a council member. Dave is just an amazing guy since I've known him. Uh, started his own business, worked very hard in the community, got involved politically. He's just a, a diligent, dedicated worker uh, for all the people and has been for 30 years. Well, Dave has an incredible work ethic, uh, just unbelievable. And Dave, over the years, uh, has been giving back to the community, uh, not just through his work as a Ridley Township Commissioner. He goes on and, and comes into Delaware County Council and, and just does a tremendous job in uh, creation of jobs, both in Ridley and in the county. And when you look at everything he's accomplished, both on the, uh, on the township level, on the county level, with his business and how successful his business is, yet, cons in consideration of all of that, Dave gives back to the community uh, and he puts people ahead of everything else. Dave supports many organizations, including police departments, veterans, and groups that support those with special needs. My dad uh, certainly exemplifies the tradition, pride, and excellence values set forth through the O'Hara family on a daily basis. And as long as I can remember, truly, he has worked tirelessly throughout the community just to make the community a better place. Dave rolls up his sleeves, gets together with county council, meets with federal and state officials, and they actually together on that level saved thousands of jobs in the lower end of the county. And now it's a hub for energy and it's made Delaware County better and it's made the state of Pennsylvania better as a result of all of his efforts. And yet with all of that, he still has time for his family, his friends, and his commitment to charities throughout Delaware County. He is uh, one of 14 children to have actually attended and graduated through uh, Cardinal O'Hara. So this is uh, a very big honor for uh, not just our immediate family, but um, all of his siblings and, and our extended family as well. For all of his accomplishments, Cardinal O'Hara is proud to induct David White into the Cardinal O'Hara High School Hall of Fame. Tonight, we honor the 1967 Cardinal O'Hara girls basketball team, who in only their second varsity season, won the first ever Catholic League title in the history of our school. They finished the season with a record of 11 and one. I was recollecting on our big feat of 50 years ago, can't believe that the years have gone by. I bet none of you have changed and I'll always remember you as the class that won the first championship. 
a, a young team like that, a young coach, really we didn't know the ropes at all, and we won. And it was hard, and we, we won, we played hard. We were taught that if we all did our jobs, we would win, and we did. And it wasn't as though anyone was so important if one went out, another one went in and did the same job. When we played, the gyms were packed. We played on a weekday, and buses, just buses of girls, it's all, it was all girls. They had halftime, they had a captain, you know, they put the captain out and sang a cheer. They sang, we sang our alma mater at halftime. It was very much school spirit, and it was amazing that we went in there after only being open three years and, and won. For us to win the Catholic League in 1967 was, was huge. It was great for us. It was so fun. Um, I don't think we got the um, exposure, perhaps we should have, because women's sports were just not, they weren't even popular. We actually made the bulletin, which was the old newspaper in Philadelphia, which was unheard of we, on the sports page that, that the O'Hara girls beat St. Hubert's. Given O'Hara's uh, rich history in women's basketball, which is unbelievable, I am really very proud that we were first. Can credit the 67 girls basketball championship team with starting the great tradition of girls basketball. Who would have thought we'd be here now, like 50 years later, like when we won, I would have never. <laughs> It's amazing. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. Congratulations to the 1967 Cardinal O'Hara Girls Basketball Championship team.